right. Hi everybody, hello. Happy Earth Day from Bach Tower Gardens. I'm Erica, I'm the Director of Marketing here at Bach Tower Gardens. And we have put together something very special for you. And we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of Earth Day today. And the way that we're doing that is actually bringing you a reenactment of some historical concerts that are very first Carol Lanner in 1931 and 1932, Anton Breeze, uh, created for these festivals. And if you want to learn more about these festivals, you can go to our blog. It's at our website, bachtowergardens.org. So we went deep into the archives and found these great programs. This one is the Wildflower Program from 1932 and um, for um, the Festival of the Birds from 1931. And on these programs, what we learned is Bog Tower Gardens has really been celebrating Earth Day for more than 90 years. They were very interested in conservation as well as protecting uh, the native birds that were here in the gardens as well as the wildflowers that grow here on the Lake Wells Ridge. So when we were doing our research, we looked on the back of the program and found out that Anton Breeze had created, here's the notes you can actually see, oops, there you go. Um, bird calls for the carillon. So he had arranged these beautiful um, melodies that mimicked the natural bird song that these um, singing birds would have here in the gardens. So with the magic of technology, we're gonna have Garrett join us. Hi. <laughs> Hi, my friend, 205 feet in the air. How are you doing today? <laughs> so we love um, giving Garrett challenges. And so he's had probably, what, three days to prepare for this concert. And um, not only did he have to go and find um, the music, he had to research the arrangements. Um, I don't think you were happy with the arrangements, so you redid them, am I right? So rearranged some of them to make them a little bit closer to what you can hear in nature. And so through all of that, Garrett, you came through. I did. I did. And <laughs> you know what? I, I, I also found out, looking at the score of Anton Breeze of all those bird calls and bird songs, that they were different 90 years ago than what you would hear now if you go to internet and you listen to the same bird, it's like completely different. So it's, really? it's yeah, yeah. It's very, um, it's, what I also found out is that the same birds, East Coast, West Coast, up, upstate New York or South Florida, four different songs, the same bird. Really? Yeah. Huh. So that made your job even harder. Yeah, right? <laughs> I know, you had to learn a new language. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you can add um, bird interpreter to world's greatest Carol on Nur in your title. Yeah, what sure. do you think? <laughs> bird interpreter, All Garrett right. Hollander. All right, so the very first one on the, um, the program um, actually was chickadee and we decided that we thought it wasn't as exciting so Garrett did cardinal so this is the musical arrangement of a bird song of a cardinal played on the carillon in background but i did hear some of the birds kind of stop singing so i think maybe you might have started speaking a language oh they, i see a lot of caramels here around me here <laughs> you know they're gonna fall you're gonna be like what is it cinderella or whatever they're snow white that has the yeah yeah <laughs> they're gonna follow you home tonight <laughs> all right so that was our interpretation of a cardinal all right so the next um bird that i think is so fun um are quail and quail we see quail um, more on the preserved lands than we do here in the historic olmstead gardens and they're always really cute and um they cross the road and you know, quail are, to me, they're adorable. So let's go ahead and see how we interpret the quail song on the carillon.
Kind of that little chittery and yeah. um, it's very, you know, quick and, and quails always like to scurry across. So I think you got it. All right, uh, so the next one on our list is a vireo. And I have not seen this bird in the gardens, um, but all of our you know visitors kind of talk about this beautiful bird. It's a warbler, uh, one of the passerine birds, so a songbird. All right, so the vireo. All right, here we go. Interesting. Interesting. So when you're out in the gardens, maybe perhaps keep an eagle eye. There's a little pun for you. Out for the vireo. All right. So moving on, we're going to go with catbird. Now this one we do see quite a bit um, in the historic gardens as well as over by the Blue Palmetto Cafe. Um, often when we're enjoying um, lunch in the Blue Palmetto, you can hear this bird and it does sound exactly like a cat. Um, so the call, it sounds just like, uh, you know, a cat that you would hear in your backyard. So this is the catbird. That's great. <laughs> Sounds like a cat bird. <laughs> All right, so I didn't know about this one. This is a tanager. And at first I thought, oh, um, this isn't a native bird. And then I you know, went to our education director, Tricia, and said, hey, are these birds found in the garden? And she says, yes, it's a very beautiful, colorful bird. Um, almost looks very exotic. And it does, um, you know, they do come from South America. So this is one of the birds that kind of passes through the gardens. So this is a tanager. It's beautiful. I think that represents a tanager. Beautiful music for a beautiful bird. Yeah. So while we are doing this, we um, also created several blog posts today that you can enjoy at BachTowerGardens.org. We call our blog Blog Tower Gardens. And we actually have where you can download these historic programs and see the beautiful art as well as learn more about um, some of our bird experiments that we had here at Bach Tower Gardens. Um, nightingales and flamingos so make sure you go to our website to uh, look at the blog and learn more about some of the bird experiments as well as our kind of legacy of conservation here at Bach Tower Gardens. All right so our very last bird call and then we're going to start our beautiful concert for today is a blue jay and I think this is my favorite bird on the list so a blue jay.
great. Well, thank you so much for bringing this music from 1931 is when this concert was created, as well as this beautiful artwork and these musical arrangements are created. So thank you for giving us a snapshot of 1931, and I'm so excited. The music that you're going to be sharing with you, and we will put the program in the comment section, um, is going to show the music that Anton Bree selected for these two festivals. And um, we encourage you to learn more about our history as well as um, the music that Anton Breeze created and Geert today recreates. So it's really a wonderful snapshot of showing how our first carol on earth still influences our fourth carol on earth. So Geert, I'm going to say goodbye to you and All I'm right. going to turn over the stage. So happy Earth Day. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Thank you.